So eight months ago, I got lost then found. Hmm. Lost then found? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Amar and this is part one of Rewind. So if you are new along here, please make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Please make sure to smash that notification bell and stay up to date with any of my videos. So guys, I did actually go through a period where I stopped sort of creating content for the last sort of like eight, nine months. Now, I did actually have a few issues which were personal and due to my mental health, but it is what it is. I'm back on, but that still didn't stop me from doing my thing. So guys, what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to try and rearrange some of the sneakers that I did pick up sort of over the last eight, nine months. I'll try to get them in the order where I sort of left off, but that probably won't go to plan to be honest, but I will try. So for part one of today's video, we'll be starting off by looking at the Air Jordan 1 High Retro. Now, I know it's almost been a year since this sneaker has actually released, so I will just briefly share with you my experience of when I was actually going to pick this pair up. Now, it was something that I did get off Offspring, and I was actually in the middle of doing a sort of vlog unboxing review with it, and things just went all wrong, and I stopped creating content. But it is what it is, I'm back, so that's the main thing. So as I said, I will just briefly share with you my experience when I actually went and picked this pair up, and see what's going off with these in the resale market. Right guys, so without going on any further, let's just crack on and have a look at this box. So this is your box. As you can see, it is this sort of distressed style box. You have your Nike and Air branding, all along the box uh, as you can see the box is all mismatched now the actual sort of theme behind this is that it was basically a pair that was sort of lost uh, over time and then you know uh, a pair that was sort of like i don't know was sort of stored in a store so yeah you know uh, but yeah you do have this sort of mismatched lid uh, it's in that sort of orangey colour and then your the rest of the box is in uh, sort of that black colourway. You have your Nike and Swoosh branding in the white text across the middle of the box. And like I say, you have your Nike branding and Swoosh all along the outer sides of the box. And if I just quickly go ahead and read off this box label for you. So we'll be looking at an Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And it's a colourway of Varsity Red Black Sail Muslin. That is your box label if you are checking it out. Now, I bet you've seen a thousand reviews of these on YouTube or elsewhere. But it is the first one on my channel. So after my extremely long and lengthy absence, here is the Air Jordan 1 High Retro OG Lost and Found. So guys, in hand, here we have the Air Jordan 1 High Retro OG Lost and Founds. A beautiful pair. Really, really glad I got these. Like I said, it was something that I was actually filtering to do a video on. I did have some issues. I didn't get to put the video out. Now, I did start it, unfortunately, but I didn't get to finish it. But it is what it is. So we are having a look at it on here. So you are seeing this the first time on my channel. So I am super, super gassed. As you can see, they are all still dead stock. I have not worn them. I've not really even took them out of the box. Uh, I did have a little sort of a, a little feel around because uh, there was an issue when I think it was the sort of US where they had uh, a lot of mold uh, along your ankle collar so there was a lot of issues with this uh, with this release when it come out so you probably know that I don't I don't know I mean you probably know that I don't know if you looked into it but that was something that was really really big that was going off so there was a lot of pairs that were actually defect due to the mold on your ankle collar but you know I think that did get resolved by uh, by Nike itself and they did do another drop uh, they did two or three drops in fact uh, uh, with these because they sort of messed it all up and they're getting a lot of returns and whatnot because of all that mold so yeah that was the story behind that otherwise I did get these on offspring and it was really really funny to be honest because I just casually jumped onto the website at 12 o'clock at midnight and it was loaded up uh, I just went down from the tab selected my size tried to check out didn't work 
did it two or three times, kept refreshing. Eventually I got to check out. I couldn't believe it. I was buzzing. Now, once you've actually carted, you have about two to three minutes to sort of fill in your details, your address details, your bank details, everything, and then you have to submit it. And then, then that's the only way your payment actually goes through and you can actually get them. I've had a bit of bad experience in the past. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, oh, what am I doing? I have had some experience in this, so I did have everything prepared. I, I was super, super gassed that I got them really. You know, it's just it's crazy, to be honest. I couldn't believe it, you know. But yeah, uh, you know, they are a really, really nice pair. I'm just going to share with you my opinion. Now, when did, when these did come out, they were super, super hyped and they were, everyone was super gassed about them. And since then, we've had a few reimagined. And to be honest, I'm not really feeling them. I think they just killed the vibe. I, I, I personally think they just killed the vibe. They should have just stuck with the one disc, basically, the reimagined. Now, you can't go wrong with this colorway. It is a true OG colorway, sort of going back in 1985. And I do believe they did do another one. I think it was in 2015 or 2016, or one of them, one of them years, I think. But they did redo them. And I absolutely loved the idea. And when I heard about it, I just thought it was a fantastic idea. But to be honest, like I said, I just I just feel that they killed the vibe after they did it with sort of like the Jordan 3s. Uh, they, they did a few. I mean, I don't remember the names off the top of my head, like, I don't know, the Reimagined 3s or something. Uh, but yeah, they did a few. And to be honest, I just feel that they, they kind of killed that kind of that hype and that vibe. And if they just stuck to the one which was this, you know, the perfect one to actually, you know, sort of reimagine. They dubbed it as the lost and found. It's, it's just, it's just a cool concept. What they, what they, what they were doing, you know, with these, it's fantastic. I thought it was really great. But like I said, I just feel that they've killed it all when they did uh, a few other reimagined. You know, it's just, I don't know. They just killed it. I, I, I personally think. I mean, they could have. I mean, they could have actually have kept it going, but they should have left it maybe a bit longer, maybe a year or two after, where they made that another uh, reimagined or something like that. You know, it would have kept. It would have kept that hype going and it would have kept that sort of love going from you know and everyone would have been excited about him but but you know it is what it is you know but yeah in hand these are beautiful really nice pair really cool details it's really nice i'm really super gas that i got these now i do have the taxis now i'm hoping to hit on the is it the palin palominos i can't even say it i don't know what it is. let's have a quick look yeah sorry they're the uh Palominos. So I, I think I will be trying for those. They release on the 2nd of September in the UK around 8 a.m. So that is something I might consider. I'm not too sure. You know, I do have two highs in my collection at the moment. So which is obviously these ones. And I did do a taxis with you sort of nearly a year ago, I believe. But yeah, other than that, it did come with a few cool details like this old style receipt. Pretty cool concept. And also the uh, the tissue paper, which I was kindly enough to just wrap and put away nicely because I didn't want to ruin it. But that was your tissue paper. <laughs> Call me weird, but yeah, that's what I am. Right, guys, so let's just move along. Uh, I'll just talk to you briefly about sort of uh, the resale, where it stands from when they released back in November up till now. I mean, at the time, they were actually retailed around uh, £165. So yeah, they keep bumping up the price. But since then, uh, they were sort of, uh, so yeah, retail on these was uh, £165. Just looking at how much they're going for. I mean, I mean, in my opinion, they are reselling sort of anything uh, between sort of like £250, anything up to £300, uh, depending on size. Uh, now, that is something to consider if you're actually looking to get this pair. It has nearly been a year for these. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised that we're still on that sort of bracket i thought that it, they might have gone up a little bit more you never know time will tell they might even come down you never know glad i got it i mean just a few details on it i'll share with you you've got your cracked lever on your ankle collar and also you have the cracked lever on the uh, side panel which is just underneath your swoosh i don't know if you're getting that and then also you have the cracked lever on your toe box really really nice detail in my opinion and then you do have that sort of uh, aged, sort of like storage vibes, dusty vibes or whatever on your outsole. Pretty decent. And you also have that sail midsole, which is really cool. But other than that, you know, it's a really nice shoe. I mean, it is an OG colorway. People were super, super gassed about these when they came out. I mean, I am as well to go on. So guys, I know I said I would keep it brief, but seeing that we're here and if you've not come across this or if you are looking to get this pair, I will say these are true to size. So if you're actually looking to get this on sort of uh, on any other platforms, obviously not 
for retail they do fall true to size so in my opinion you can't go wrong when it comes to these and they do fit true to size right guys i do believe i've covered everything i said i would cover in this video so i appreciate if you stuck around i appreciate your support do please stick around for part two of rewind I want to push back the sort of last eight, nine months of what I've missed out with you guys. So I still carried on, you know, doing what I enjoy. But yeah. <laughs> right, guys. So I do believe I've covered everything I said I would cover in this video. So I appreciate if you stuck around. I appreciate your support again. And if you've not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. Please make sure to smash that notification bell and stay up to date with any of my videos. And with all that out of the way, I hope to catch you in part two of Rewind. So I shall see you in the next one.